Hello there. In this video, I'm going to build an app similar to this one where we will have a list of words and we can click on the favorite and we can favorite them and we can go to the favorite list and can unfavorite from there or unfavorite from here. And we will do all this using provider. So let's start from here. We have a main function. After that, we have a material app. Inside material app, we have home edge home page. So we are going to and do this using uh, English word package. So using this package, we will get a list of words. So let's go to the package or pubspec.yml file and let's add this package. So once you add this package, you will find in this package that there is like nouns.take and using this you can get uh, nouns, 50 nouns. So what I will do here, so I will do the same thing, final words dot nouns dot get basically take and uh, from the list of nouns we will get 50 nouns so when you apply take uh, it gives you iterator so you see you get a iterator and in, in order to make a iterator to the list we just apply to list now uh, using the list view builder what I will do I will build a list so here uh, I build a list for words and let's apply a list time and that's it so it was simple and in the trailing we will add an icon for favorite and yeah that's it so you see now currently nothing is happening but we made an app where we have a list of words moving forward i will create a new folder called provider and inside this folder i will add a file called favorite provider dot dot Okay, so now we have favorite provider. So let's create the class favorite provider, which will extend change notifier. And uh, here I will have a final list of a string, which will store all the favorite words. By default, our initial value is going to be empty. This is a private uh, variable. So I will make a getter so that I can get the favorite word outside of the class. Now I will make a method called toggle favorite and basically it is going to take a word a string word so what this will do if the word will exist so word dot contains so if the favorite word contains the word which we are trying to do the favorite we will remove it and otherwise we will add it so once this is done we will do notify listener uh, I will make one more method here which is reset so or we can say clear favorite so this is going to clear the favorite which means to remove all the item from the favorite so this provider will be task for you to like uh, words cannot be let's remove the final will be task for you to use this uh, clear favorite method okay I will not use it I will only use toggle favorite so so that you can also get the idea how things are happening so now it's time to use the provider package so for that we will come to this url and copy this after that we will come to pubspec.yml and add the package once you add the package after that we just have to wrap our material app in change notifier provider so whenever there will be any change it will rebuild the app or notify the app and based on that notification the app will rebuild so it gave me a error because I did not provide anything here so let's provide the child and give the child so now things look good if I restart everything will work as expected okay no error moving forward now we need to call the provider here so final provider in the final it was a typo so provider dot of and context and here i have to tell the class name in generic uh, okay so that's it so now whenever we will uh, click on the button we will call provider dot toggle favorite and here we will pass the word that's it so now if i click on any of the favorite icon it will favorite the icon but uh, we are not able to know if it has been favorited or not so for that we will update the icon this is going to be the easiest way to know it 
to check if any word is favorite or not i will make a method here which is bool is exist so this will just tell us if this word exist in favorite or not uh, okay so using this one uh, i can check if that word in word exist in the list or not and i will return if exist or not okay that's it so you i will use this in our home and uh, this will decide which uh, icon to show so i will say provider dot exist and i will pass word here and after that this will say true or false so when there will be true i will show a favorite icon otherwise i will show favorite icon border if i save it you see so i favorited those and those were favorited but there were no any visual signs sign or symbol so now i am going to also make a color change which will make it more better okay awesome so now you see we got the favorite if i tap somewhere i get the favorite like visual change now it's time to make a dedicated page for favorite so for that i will make a floating action button extended uh, where i will have a label uh, which will be basically a text and which will say favorite and when i will tap on this that this should open a page a dedicated page where we will only show favorites word so for that let's create favorite dot dot and here i will create a stateless widget that will be favorite page and which will return a scaffold with the app bar title as favorite and let's remove unwanted import and that's it so now uh, whenever i will tap on this button i want to navigate on that page so for that i will use navigate dot push and let's make the route now material page route the builder is going to be context and it will just return favorite page let's add const here awesome so now if i click here it goes to the next page so let's come here let's write the code for the provider which i just copied from a previous page uh, okay things looks good now i will again copy one more thing the body part why because uh, this is also list of words so let's write body and this one that's it so here i will come and say final words and this time the words is not coming from that english library this is coming from the provider from the favorite so you will find that i'm getting an error expected and identifier remove it okay so you see we are only getting favorite word here in the previous page we were getting all the word which is coming from that english word library so that's it i hope you got the idea there is still one thing which you should do which is clear favorite basically if you want to remove all the favorite word using one button click so this is task for you do it and that's it thank you